Hello all, welcome to new series of tutorial from 100bytes.com. In this series, we are going to see all about JWT. Uh, there is a series of videos coming in to explain a JWT and its related specification. In this video, we are going to see about the introduction about the JWT. This box shows the JWT and its related specification. Uh, I'll explain you about JWS, JW, JWK, JWA in the forthcoming videos. Uh, in this video, we are going to see JWT. I'll give introduction about all these specifications. So J JSON Web Token is like a, it's, it's, it's representation of claims in a compact and URL safe means, which is used to propagate identities or claims to be transferred between the two parties. And JSON Web Signature is used to secure the content of the JWT with the digital signatures. That is like where, where we can sign the JSON Web Token from the sender side and it can be verified in the receiver side. JSON Web, web Encryption is like a, specification to how to encrypt the JSON web token. JSON web keys is, to, is a specification to represent the keys in JSON format for the for signing and encryption of the JSON web token. JSON web algorithm is like a specification for the cryptographic algorithms and identifiers which is used for signing and encryption. Okay, these are the facts about the JSON web token. So JSON JWT is pronounced as a JOT. I don't know about why it is called as a JOT. But it is pronounced as a JOT. It is a compact. It is a URL safe. As it says, like a compact and URL safe. So it is used in the headers, uh, headers of the HTTP, or it is in a URI um, query parameters. And it is a very compact, so it is very it is useful in the mobile world for because of uh, less processing power. It is it is used uh, JWT is used as a token. Uh, for the authentication so it can be used as a token based authentication and also it is used for propagating our identity and assertion between two parties basically JWT is uh, sent in over wire in a encoded and decoded in base 64 format so if you want you have to secure you have to secure it using JWS or JWE it is developed by IETF and this JART is used extensively in OAuth 2.2 and OpenID connect okay this slide explains the structure of the JWT token it has three parts, header, payload, and signature. All these three parts are sub encoded separately in base64 format, concatenated with the dot symbol, and send it over the wire. In the receiver send, it is decoded separately, uh, decoded each part separately, and it get used. This is the structure of the JWTT. And, and this one shows like, slows like encoded format of a JWT token. So this red color, red color one is just a header, green color one is a payload and the last last part is like which is in the blue color i mean like violet color it is in a signature we will we will see what is header payload in the in the next slide once we decode the jw token in the receiver end, this is what it will going to be looks like so it is like algorithm is rs256 in the header part and in the like ad, in the payload side you can see admins or and the issuer uh, like uh, what's the email, what's the hobbies and all those things which are sent over, sent as part of a JWT. These are called the claims. I will explain you in the forthcoming slides. And it's a signature. So we will go to each and every compartment of the JWT token in detail. JWT header. This header contains the metadata for the token and, uh, and it minimally contains the type of the signature and the encryption algorithm used like uh, so for example in this one is like algorithm is hs256 and the type is jwt it means like it's a jwt token and algorithm used for signing is hs256 and jwt payload jwt we can you can use interchangeably interchangeably for payload and claims here for jwt because uh, like a payload usually carries the claims so what is claim the claims are the information which we want to send over the wire to the server to the receiver send for example about the user email id uh, what the department name or any social security number all those things can be sent over sent as part of the jwt token and it is as a part of a claim in addition there are there are three types of claims like registered claims public claims and the private claims registered claims are the claims like which is registered when uh, at the time of uh, defining this uh, jwt specification and public claims are uh, like which is used to publicly among most of the 
most of the part most of the enterprises so basically like everyone is going to need to register their uh, their own claims like in the jw registry so that there won't be any conflict and the private claims are the claims which is a private to their enterprises so for, i'll explain you uh, explain you about the registered claims there are set of cl claims like uh, iss SUB, AUD, EXP, NBF, IIT, JTI, which provides the metadata about the J, uh, JWT token itself. So here, ISS. ISS means like issuer of the token. Who is issuing this JWT token? It can be a Google or Facebook or whoever it is. Subject of the token, to whom it is assure, uh, issued, whether it's hunterbase.com or it is some different website, whatever it is, it can be put it in the subject. And the audience of this token, who it is, in the, what is the intent of this token? I mean, like who are the intenders of this token? Token expiration, which is different, when the token will be going to expire. And this can, and there is one more thing called NBF, which is not before time. That means like the this token cannot be used before uh, particular time for example uh, let's say the current time is like at 10 pm and if you are going to put uh, nbf as like at 10 15 uh, pm then um, this token cannot be used until 10 15 pm is uh, until clock crosses 10 15 pm and iid is issued at time as the name indicates and jta is a jwt id this can be provides unique identifier for the jwt token JW signature is a, is a name uh, as the name explains it is going to sign the JW token and IETF provides separate specification for the JWS that is called JSON web signature. What is the content uh, it is going to use to sign? It, is, it uses the encoded JWT header and encoded JWT client and sign it using the strong encryption algorithms and send it over the wire. Basically this is required uh, to identify two things. One is like whether the token is not tampered another one is like a, to uh, to identify the authenticity of the sender uh, like if google is sending only the google uh, and it is going to sign it with the google's private key only you can able to uh, verify it using google's public key that in that way you can able to uh, identify authenticity of the sender and if and as well as like if there is any tampering of the token that can also identify it during verification Okay, before going to conclusion, I want to show the sample code and how to generate the JWT. For this whole series, I'm going to use the JOS library 0.4.1. And uh, this program, it's going to uh, explain how to generate the JWT token and how to verify it in the receiver send. Okay, so here so this jwt claims like this is uh, these are the apis which is specific to jaws uh, 0.4.1 okay uh, i'm going to post this uh, this sample code in my 100base.com website where you can uh, that the link is provided below this video where you can uh, take this code and you can test it in your environment as well this part of this code is for to generate the claims like uh, i'm going to uh, i have set the audience as an admins expiration time is in the future is like 10 that is like 10 minutes from the now and you can generate the jwt id and who is issuer issuer is ca and what is issuer time and not before minutes in the past like that means like before two minutes you can't use it to you can't use this token and the setting the subject for to whom it is it is issued so these are the registered claims i have used in addition to that i'm using my private claims so in this case these are the my private claims so here you can see the climb setting on email id country and uh, hobbies so and it gets printed so as of now just ignore this signing part i will explain it in the sec uh, in the next video so in the receiver send so the, i'm just assuming like this both and sender and receivers in the same program so you cannot okay so in the receiver send uh, first you need to build the consumer who is the expected audience who is the expected issuer and uh, verification key uh, yeah this one uh, is i will explain you in the next this is required this is uh, for the signing part i will i will explain it in the next video and the set required subject that means like if it is required a subject or not and finally build in addition to that you can also add few more metadata for uh, building the consumers uh, so i'm just using a minimal one uh, like if you use the Joe's label, you can explode it actually. Once the consumer is built, then after that you have to process the claim. That is like sign JWT. So here this is one is signed one. I'm setting the sign JWT, 
and once it's processed it will it will send the received claims i am printing the received claims in the, in the json format let's run this program yeah it's ran okay. this is at sender send you can see here audience is admins expir expiration time jti issuer issuer time not before this time subject email and my private tokens i mean sorry private claims all those things are mentioned so like this is the one and uh, these are all okay And once the claims are generated, we were signed it actually. Uh, that I was, uh, I will explain it in the next series. So this is a giant uh, signed JWD. Once it's signed and it is sent to the receiver end. In the receiver end, uh, it is get validated and the claims are get extracted. Let me format these claims in a JSON format. Okay, it is valid and you can see like admins, expiration time, all those whatever you send it in the sender send and it get received uh, perfectly in the so in the receiver send. So in the country, all those things are mentioned perfectly. Okay. So this is how uh, you need to you need to generate the JSON web token. The conclusion uh, like a, Basically, it is just encoded and decoded. Uh, we can't establish the trust until this token is cryptographically signed, secured. If it is if it is sent over HTTPS wire, then you just need a signing is more than enough. But if you are going to send it in a non-secured non channel, better you have to sign and then encrypt the token. JWT is not an indent for replacement of a SAML, but it can do some of the things that SAML assertions can do. So and uh, as as it is like it is a compact and due to less cost for processing, it can be used in the mobile world. Now that's it about the introduction about the JWT. I have provided the reference to the JWT token tutorial page in 100page.com. The link is given below this video. In the next video, we are going to see about the JSON web signature. Thank you.